Hello and welcome to Business Law 270. I am Professor Stacy Schlimmer and I am really excited to be the online instructor for your course. So I want to take this opportunity to talk about a little bit about the course, but this also is your opportunity to enter your attendance, which is required um, for our class. But let me first talk about this being an online course. It is online, but I promise I will have the same enthusiasm and priority that I do for my face-to-face -face students. That being said, a lot of your success is gonna depend on you. So let's talk about first how to be successful. As in any other course, you're gonna set your goals, your study habits, your learning objectives, all of that. You have your calendar, read your syllabus. You know all of this stuff. This is probably not new to you. What may be a little new if you haven't taken an online course or maybe you've taken one but just haven't done so well in it is how you have to view this course. If you look at this course as um, a course, you're just being able to decide what hours you take your course. That doesn't mean it's at your pace. This is a three credit course. And so students, if they were taking it in person would spend two and a half hours in class a week. And so that's what you need to do. You need to allot um, two to three segments of time, uh, two and a half hours. And that's going to be going over the lectures and the discussion assignments that we'll have. The discussion assignments are technically the class participation. Okay, and that's how we determine class participation. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But they also say that for every credit in college, you should spend about two hours outside the course preparing, which would be about six hours outside of the class. So if you look at this in a nutshell, you're spending eight and a half hours a week. If you're not spending eight and a half hours a week, or at least close to that, you're not doing this course correctly. Because the two and a half hours that you would be normally in class should not be spent on outside work. That should be really on your lectures and really honing in on those discussions and assignments that we'll talk about. So the most important thing is to ask questions. You can email me at any time. Canvas is the preferred method of communication, but I also have my JCC email on the homepage. The homepage is how you got here. And so let's talk a little bit about the uh, class structure. Or we'll just keep asking questions because I do like questions. Okay, so. The first thing is that you're going to go in and you're going to see that there is the uh, register attendance, which you did, and the syllabus and the tentative class schedule. And then you're gonna have a start here button. You're going to start there and you're going to wanna review the Connect assignments registration information, particularly if you haven't used Connect before. There's a smart work um, book orientation that you can take um, that will help you if you've not used connect before. And then I have some textbook and technology information. There may be some actual added information after this video, but make sure that you're familiar with all of the things under the start here. So let's go back to our module. Everything or our homepage, everything I do works out of your modules. You can access your modules on your homepage through the sidebar, or I have listed them independently on the home page where you can click right on there for it. So for example, if you clicked on Introduction to Legal Principles and Authorities, oh, sorry, one more thing. Let's um, also say you're going, to, so your modules are gonna show you, your homework is gonna be there, you'll see homework assignments here, and you'll also have a course schedule with due dates that you can click on and go there. Many of you may know this um, if you've used Canvas before, I'm just going over it briefly. So let's go back to Introduction to Legal Principles and Authorities. So when you click, you're going to get into that module. And the first thing you'll see is a schedule for the unit. We're gonna have five units, but unit three has two subparts. And I'll talk about that as I go through the assignments. But all of your units are gonna be pretty um, similar in how we handle the assignments. So what you're gonna see in your, um, in your schedule is you'll see the different lectures and those are gonna be lectures that you'll watch PowerPoint like this. And then you're gonna see assignments and you'll be able to see the due date deadlines. This is a 
brief snapshot of, hey, okay, unit one has two due dates, January 28th and February 4th. But remember, you should be going on at least twice a week looking through your um, assignments. Your assignments should not all be being done on January 28th. You should be doing this on a, a um, two or three times a week. So let's talk about the grading scale. The grading scale is we're going to have connect assignments, which is you read the material and then you go and answer the questions. That is going to be 25% of your grade. That's a lot. And it takes some time. For each chapter, there's a connect assignment. For example, we just saw unit one has four chapters. That's four connect assignments. If you wait to the last minute, that is four hours probably you're looking at. This is part of your outside work that does not count as your class time. And remember, we're saying you're spending about six hours of that. Generally, connect is gonna be about mm, three to four probably. And then you're going to have the case brief, which is going to be um, for, or probably about an hour or two working on that. The I'm sorry, probably about an hour. The video quizzes are going to be an hour or less a week. Case briefs, um, we have five of those. Unit three is broken up into two parts because it's so long. So you have two unit quizzes and you have more time for unit three. But you're only going to have one case brief and one discussion assignment for that unit. We're going to talk about all this more in depth. So Connect Smart Markbook Orientation, if you haven't done that, basically an overview of Connect is you get into it and you click on just the chapter. You, you start your reading or, and then once you're ready, you start your questions and they have concepts. And when you go through the reading, you're going to only need to read what's highlighted in yellow. That's the only part you have to read. Then when you're ready for your questions, it's going to ask you questions and it's going to ask you how comfortable you are with your answers, how confident. And then you're going to have multiple choice questions. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll answer the question. And then when you get so many answers right, you will have completed a concept. There's 24 concepts in chapter one. That seems overwhelming, but if you read the material, it shouldn't take you long. Video quizzes. Video quizzes are basically quizzes that you go on, you'll click on and you'll watch a video, and then you will fill in the blanks based on the video. And the videos are, the questions are directly from the videos. In fact, if you do not use the video and you try to use an outside source, you will receive no credit for the assignment because the purpose of the assignment is to watch the video. So, you might type in on your computer and get an answer that may fit, but if it did not come from the video, I will know you didn't watch the video and you will receive a zero. The first video is 20 minutes long. That can be used as kind of your in-class time that you have uh, because my in-class students will be doing that. So it, it's not, you won't have that as much as your out-of-class homework time. Um, the reason it's 20 minutes is because it's just more of a, a documentary type movie and it gives you an overview of um, the making of the, the beginning of the Constitution. Unit quizzes, you'll have six total. There are timed quizzes and you'll have a time, there are 30 minutes, some are 40 minutes. So what that, and they're open book and open notes. They're always due on the last day of the unit. You can use no outside resources. Outside resources is considered an academic dishonesty and you could fail the course for that. So please just use your book and use your notes, but do not take the quiz until you're ready because it's timed. And if you try to look for the answers in your book during your quiz, it just won't happen. So let's talk about discussion assignments. There's gonna be five total and you're gonna have an initial post, then you're going to respond to at least two students' posts, and then you're going to reply to responses of your post. If nobody's made a response on your initial post, then you'll be replying to at least two other responses that people have made on other posts. We'll go more into detail in your first discussion assignment. And you will have a discussion rubric that we'll go over so you'll understand what's expected. 
case briefs. There is a total of five case briefs and we, I am going to take you through them and walk you through them. It's not very overwhelming. The cases are very annotated, meaning they're broken down um, into just the brief issue we're doing. You're not going to have to read full-fledged cases. And you'll probably find them very interesting because I use recent cases on issues, so, so it, it has some relevance to today. So the next thing I want you to do, if you haven't already, is download the PDF of Class Expectations. What you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to initial every paragraph after you've read it. First one is that it's your responsibility to review the course syllabus and contact me with any questions. Um, because there is a window of time, we do not have um, exceptions for due dates. So waiting until the last minute to do work is not going to help um, with getting a, an extension. The video quizzes that you would understand that the purpose is to see if you've watched the video. So if you do not and you get answers somewhere else, then you'll receive no credit. And then you're responsible for reading the um, JCC Custode of Con Student Code of Conduct, which is right below on your form. Then we're going to talk about AI. If there is a time that we use AI tools, artificial intelligence, um, I will let you know. Otherwise, outside artificial intelligent tools, particularly when we get to case briefing or discussions, is not allowed. If you use that, that is academic dishonesty and you could fail the course. Cheating and plagiarism is a cause for an automatic failing grade. You'll need to initial these. Unit quizzes being open, um, book and note. Again, use of outside sources this is academic dishonesty. It's your responsibility to reach out to me if you have difficulty in this course. Some of these concepts may seem overwhelming at first, but I promise, 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 I will break them down and you will end up really enjoying what we do. So do not feel overwhelmed right now. And then last, you've watched the video presentation on class expectations. You need to then sign and date this, put your name, date, sign, attach the PDF. The other thing you need to do then is I want you to click on the video button that is in the assignment and briefly introduce yourself. All you have to do is say your name and maybe why you're taking this class or something that I might find interesting or what you're most interested about in the class after looking through the syllabus. I look forward to working with all of you and please be sure to go over everything in your start. One more thing, when we do the um, Canvas, it is listed under the chapters what you need to do. And it's in an order for that reason. You may have a lecture and that lecture is important to understanding an assignment or a video quiz. So make sure that you try to follow the order that you can in the um, chapters. Again, if you have any questions, please contact me and I'm super excited and look forward to working with you.